Hello, so today we are doing this problem called <coughs> maximum depth of an array tree. And so the problem says we get an array tree and we want to find just the maximum depth. Um, so the maximum depth is the number of nodes um, along the longest path from the root down to the furthest leaf node. And so, for example, in this three array tree, so it's not a binary tree, it can be any number of um, child per node tree. So for example here it's three childs at most, three children at most per tree, or per node, sorry. And so uh, here we should return three, right? And so let's see how can we solve this problem. And so the first thing that we can think of is just like just go recursively and each time uh, the children report um, their depth to a node, we can just take the maximum because that's what we are interested in. And so that would be pretty, very straightforward. Um, so let's, let's see how can we do that. Um, so we already have the node here given with the um, list of children. And so what we can do is just do our base case and do our recurrence and then that's it. Um, and so what can be our base case? So if we don't have um, a root, then we can just return zero, right? Also, if we don't have children, um, then we could just say if not. So if 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 a node is a leaf, then the depth there is just one, right? So we can just return one. And then after that, so these are our base cases. Um, after that, we need to do the recurrence, and our recurrence would be just return. So we will know we need to recurse on the depth here, and so. We know that if we are, if we recurse like say on three the node three here we need to add one because that's another level or another level in the depth so we can just return one and then take the max of the heights that of the children so we can just go through max depth of um, children for the node right and so the node here is root that children. And uh, yeah, so that should be pretty much it. And we return plus one. So we are taking the max depth of each child, and then we are taking the max, we, uh, and then we are taking the max of all children for a node, right? So let's run this and see if it passes. Okay, so it passes for that. Um, should be good. Let's try it. Okay, so that works, um, and so let's see how can we, we can make this like a, a little bit shorter uh, by doing the following. And so we, we can like not have to do this if multiple times, and so the way we can do that is just say, okay, uh, let's suppose we already have the level uh, passed to us. And by default it's one, so that the first call it gets to be one, because that's one node, right? And then what we can do is just say, okay, return the max of um, of basically root n, so that if it's um, so that if it's false, we don't we don't go to the list. Um, and then here it would be child still for this, but the level since we are going one level deep, it would be level plus one. Um, and then this stays the same, um, and we would need to add. The current level that we have, um, and that should be it. Yeah. Uh, so maybe you are like wondering what what is this root um, here um, that we are doing. So let's just take an example and see what it looks like. And so let's take an example here for this. Um, so if we say, let's say we have a root that is equal to none, so an empty um, thing, right? And so let's say root and one, right? What would happen? Uh, let's say. So, so you can see res is equal to. So res is equal to none, right? So what if we have root that is like equal to some value, let's say two. Now if we do this, 
can see res is equal to 1, right? So basically what it means is that um, if root is none, then the entire thing would be none. If root is, um, is of some value, then we will return the list. And so that means that here, if root is like, the node is like, we are at the end, there is no node, then we would return, the whole thing would be none. And so, let's see, what if when you do none plus uh, three, what happens? Uh, so it says that there is nothing there, right? And so let's see, let's take our root to be none here, and then say root and one, and then the entire thing plus two. Let's see what happens. So we get none also, right? And so yeah, so you get the idea. It gets, it returns nothing for um, for the case where the, the node is empty. Um, so let's try to submit this. So yeah, so you can see we have a problem here when we when we put nil as the input because because this here returns if we look at or it's equal like it's equal to um, it's uh, basically if we put this it's true it's equal to none so our max here doesn't work right and so we need to do something about that so max has this default value that we can say is equal to zero right uh, so it still fails how about we say plus uh, okay let's see how can we um, Um, okay, so it, it says that none type is not iterable, which means that this none here um, is is not um, it can't it because max if we look at max max accepts what it accepts an iterable and none is not an iterable, and so the way we can um, the way we can fix that is to say so if we have like this and say or zero that means if the entire thing is none then return this right. So if we have root here, which is equal to none, and then we say root or zero, that means when root is when root is none, it we will get zero. What if root is a value? Then in that case, we will get root, right? And so here to fix our problem here, um, we can say or zero, right? And that way, when 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 the when the node is is none, we can return zero right away. So yeah, this is a useful trick to avoid the if and else. So we had an if for root is none to return zero, but instead we are doing end with the with the values, and if the entire thing is none because root is none, then we will return this zero, which which is what we were returning earlier. Also, if the childrens are empty, then we will get this entire thing is empty, right? And then when we get this entire thing as empty, since we are adding the level as a list. We will get. Um, we will get this one. We will get the value one, which is what we were returning earlier in our base case, right? And so yeah, that's it. Let's submit this. Uh, okay, so that passes. Now we can also do another uh, method, which is um, iterative DFS. Iterative DFS. So here we are doing kind of iter uh, DFS, but in a recursive way. So let's look into how we can um, how we can implement it um, iteratively. So of course, to implement it iteratively, we just we need a stack. And so, and first thing we need to delete this, and we need our stack for DFS, and we need to add our first node. So if if it's not empty, then we can add to our stack root. But one thing is we want the depth. So we kind of want the value of the depth to be in our stack so that we can pop it and add to it, right? 
And so what we are going to do is while stack, so that first if if uh, the node is null from the start, we will not enter here, right? And so what will happen is we can do while stack, and then we pop, and so we get a depth, and then we get um, the node, right? And so now we need to go through all the nodes um, children, right? And so if node, um, and then we can say, so if node, uh, we can have the depth is equal to, uh, so uh, yeah, so uh, uh, the thing is we need to return like the, the, the overall depth which starts out as zero. So let's call this just the current depth. And let's, at the end, what we are interested in is returning the depth. And so now we need to check if we have a new better depth. So we are going to say uh, max, actually depth here, and then current depth, right? And then we need to go through the children of, um, of node, right? And we need to add them to the stack. And so what is the current depth for this? That's the depth of this, the, the current node that we are investigating plus one because we are going from that node to the next level, right? And then we need to do a um, node, right? Uh, actually seat, which is, um, let's call it child to make it easier. Um, yeah. And that will go ahead and, um, and go through the while loop again. And if we added some values, we'll go through it again, right? And so let's run this and see what we get. Okay, let's go th to the previous case that we had. Okay, it seems like I lost it. Let's just submit. Okay, so we have a problem with this case here. Let's Okay, so it seems like our depth here is not... So we are taking the max of this current depth, and then we are adding current depth plus one. Uh, okay, let's just say if root. So I'm saying if not root, which means if Basically, let's, let's make this clear. So if I say root equal to none, and then not root, what does that return? That's true, because root is none. And so I was going here only if root is none, which is not what, what I want. What I want is, um, if root is equal to one, I want, so not root is false, I don't want that. But root is equal to true. And so that's actually what I want. And so let's change that. So if root, we go, the same thing if, with if not here. And so that passes. Actually, we probably don't need even that if because we are checking here, but let's submit this anyway. So that passes. Um, now, um, we can also do this, uh, solve this with BFS. So basically, BFS goes level by level. And so we can just go all the way to all the levels and take the last one that we went at, right? Just keep incrementing and take the last level that we arrived at. And so let's see how can we do that. So, we are going to have, of course, a queue, but first, let's just say, if not root, which means if our root is empty, we need to return zero, and then we can have queue that starts out with the, just with the root, and we can say while queue, um, so we can just get the length of the current level. So the, every time our queue will contain the current level. So for example, the first time it will contain just one, which is the current level. After that, it will contain three, two, four. And so we want to get the length of the current level. So uh, let's call this length of queue. So level size. And then we can go through this. So for range of zero, actually just in range of level size so that we can go through every node in this level and look at the, its children and so the way we are going to do that is we are going to take for example three look at its children take two look at its, at its children 
and four and look at its children. And so the way we are going to do that is we are going to say pop and then that way we will get the current node and then we'll add the children of that current node. So for child in current that children we are going to add um, to the queue. Um, so uh, append um, child um, and then so actually this is um, let's make this collection dot so from collections we can say import dq so that we can get a q and so let's do that we can also do like pub zero to imitate a q but I just prefer using this and so let's call this dq and we can have q dot append root and child and then after that we can so since we process it this level one first and then we process it this one each, each time we process a level we are going to increase our depth by one and then at the end we are return that depth because we go through all the levels until there are no more levels with this while q and so at the end we'll have the last level Uh, okay, yeah, we forgot to initialize depth. So that passes for this one. Now let's try the null case just to make sure we didn't mess that case up again. Okay, let's look at this. Uh, okay, so pop left in order to get the, the leftmost value. The, the first value in the queue instead of the last one. Okay, let's see what this case. Okay, I'll submit. Okay, so that passes. Um, you could also use a list, but that point what you need to do is pop zero but that really like goes through the entire list to pop the first to pop the uh, this element and so um, yeah that's also that also should work um, fine um, yeah uh, and that's it for now see you next time bye